Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Name. It's me, Ella. It's been a few days since I've been on here, <laughs> so I wanted to hop on here and just uh, chat. I only have one crochet project that I've been working on that I'm going to show to you. <laughs> it's still not done, but um, and then just a lot chatting. So if you're interested in that, that's okay. <laughs> but I'll do the crochet first just to show you. Um, so it's my crochet candle that I was working on. I, I forgot again the website it's free from, but I'll link it below. <laughs> Uh, you do have to sign up with your email to download it, but then you can just unsubscribe if you want, you know. Uh, but it's free, you know, it's not like you don't have to pay for anything or anything. But last time I showed it, it was just a little bit of the candle. So I did finish the the size that I wanted the candle and then the base of it in this red and green. I, I still got to do all these. <laughs> and um, I also made the flame that goes on top. I just haven't got it on there. <laughs> Straighten it out. So I got that on there. I got, the last thing I had to crochet was the flowers that go around the base here. But I didn't like the pattern, the way it was working up and the way they were looking. So I'm going to try to find a different little um, flower to put there. Or I might find something else to put there. I don't know. <laughs> but so I do got to sew the flame onto the candle. And then uh, decorate the base or just leave it, I guess. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> and then deal with all the ends. And uh, it's not supposed to be stuffed or anything. I was thinking this is about the size of a toilet paper roll. You could probably stick a toilet paper roll in there to um, give it just some stability, you know, if you wanted. But, you know, if you set it somewhere where no kids are going to be messing with it, it should be fine on its own, just standing on its own little self there. <laughs> but I really like this pattern. I think it came out so pretty. And uh, it was fairly easy. There's probably a bunch of mistakes. <laughs> but uh, it looks nice. <laughs> So, I think it's really cute. I like it. But that's the only crochet pattern. And uh, all this yarn is just Red Heart Super Saver. Uh, white, cherry red, and patty green. And this is a scrap ball of some yellow. <laughs> I don't know. But I used um, a 5.5 millimeter hook for the whole thing. The flowers, you were supposed to go down to elf hook. And I did that. And I was making them. And just I didn't like the pattern. So, I'm just going to figure out something else to do there. But I need to finish that up and get it set somewhere. <laughs> I really like it, though. It's cute. But, uh, so that's all I've been crocheting on. I still got that door stopper that I have not worked on. <laughs> I need to, uh, work on it. But, you know, the last video I put out was Tuesday. And then, uh, the holiday was coming up. So, uh, Wednesday I was busy. I didn't even do a Wednesday video. Uh, we did a lot of cleaning because Devin was off work from Tuesday through this next coming Tuesday. So, we did a whole lot of cleaning. We ended up taking a load off to the dump and a load off to the donation center. <laughs> so, a lot of stuff that been piling up needing to get down we got done so then on um, thanksgiving we went to uh devin's dad's for a little while and then we went to my side of the family my sister's house and we stayed there um for a long time <laughs> like four or five hours what is this piece of hair doing it's like separate from all the other hair. <laughs> um so we had a lot of fun you know ate food and all that so at my sister's house we made uh some crafts <laughs> i wanted to make some ornaments we like to try to make ornaments with our sons every year and then eventually june when she's old enough so I saw on TikTok where you can get these plastic cups and decorate them with Sharpies and then melt them in the oven. And they come out into um, circular shapes-ish. But, you know, it's plastic, so it melts weird. But anyway, so we made a whole bunch of those. The boys um, made a couple. <laughs> Only got Jesse to make one that for me to keep as a Christmas ornament. The rest of them he kept for himself to play with. But so here's Jesse's that he made. So this was like a, like a solo cup, but it was um, the dollar store brand. <laughs> Uh, I think it's called Smart something. But you color it with a Sharpie, and then when you bake it, it uh, this color stay bright. If you use other markers, uh, we tried using regular markers, like Crayola markers, and they didn't dry. Like, they would still smear if you rubbed your finger on it. So that's the one Jesse made. And then um, this one Devin made. He loves Power Rangers, and recently his favorite Power Ranger died, so he made this one for him. <laughs> and uh, then the rest of these are mine. I made four. <laughs> And Jesse and my nephew did make a bunch of them, and then my sister made some uh, as well. But here's one that I made that has a reef on it. It bit a little weird, but you know, it's still cute. I still love it. And then I made, this is the first one I made. It's got a Christmas tree, and I tried to make like Christmas lights. I thought it was cute. And then this one I made, but I forgot to decorate the bottom of the cup, which becomes the center when it melts. Uh, so it feels like empty space, but I'm going to hot glue something there, like a pom-pom or something. I'll put right there in the middle. This is the, also the one that came out in the best shape. This one came out like oh, perfectly almost. <laughs> and then I made a Grinch themed one. So I made it green with red dots and then put the red heart in the middle. So it was a fun craft to make. And um, 
And I got these extra little ornaments to put on my tree. <laughs> and then also, um, me and Terry from the Yarn Podcast are doing a challenge swap uh, throughout the de December, the Fridays of December. Uh, and in it, she sent some gifts <laughs> for us. And I was I was planning on opening them as Christmas gifts, but uh, one of them accidentally got ripped open. <laughs> and then we just decided to open all of them. But uh, so the one that got accidentally ripped open... I don't even know how it happened. I, I don't know if the tape maybe come on taped or something, but or maybe Jesse. <laughs> but um, it had handprint things for the kids, uh, like the salt dough ones, but they were foam ones. So we did that one one day. Uh, I think it was Wednesday night that we did this. I think so. But uh, or maybe Thanksgiving night. I can't remember. <laughs> but when we came home, so here's Jesse's. His is bigger because he's six. Um, you can't see it good, but I wrote the year on there. And it is, it's foamy still, even after it dries. It has to dry for 48 hours, 24 hours this way, and then 24 hours this way. But, um, there's his handprint. <laughs> and then here's June's. So I wrote the year and their age on it. And I wrote the name on the back in case, you know, I get old and confused. <laughs> um, but there's her little hand. It was so hard. We had to do hers multiple times because she would do this. <laughs> so we had to, um, you know, re smooth it out and try it again. So this is the best we could get. There's like a dimple here, but it's okay. It's still her cute little nine month old hand. She's 10 months old now today, <laughs> but, um, she was nine months when we did that. So that's the ornaments we made. <laughs> and then, um, last night was Friday. Um, uh, we went to see some Christmas lights. Uh, it's called the dancing lights of Lebanon. It's in Lebanon, Tennessee, which is about an hour, a little over an hour away from us. Uh, we drove all the way there and went to it and it was so much fun uh but last time we went to it was in 2020 we didn't go last year we went to a different one last year but we went to it in 2020 and it was all fun and they added a lot of new stuff this year so we drove through that and i'll pop up some clips of that at, um over here <laughs> at some point uh it'll be silent though because um uh, or i'll put christmas music to it maybe uh because it was there was timed with music that was playing in the, the radio station but you know it's licensed music so i can't play that but it was, um, I know you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch was on there, Let It Go from Frozen was on there. And uh, just some regular Christmas uh, carols were on there. But it was a lot of fun, and we all enjoyed it. Um, we had the kids up front with us in the truck because we were driving through, it's through a, a fairground. <laughs> um, so Jesse was in the middle, and da uh, Daddy hold, held uh, June. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. And then at the end of it was like Santa's Village, and it had all kinds of activities. But we just stopped and got snacks and went home because <laughs> it was later in the day. But, um, that's what we did. So I did do a little bit of Black Friday shopping to Walmart only. Um, I had two things on my list and I only got two things. And I was surprised that the store wasn't packed. I was thinking it was still going to be full. Because I know they've been doing deals for the last few weeks, but not on everything. And I only had two things on my list. And one was for June in the future. And, uh, for me now. And one for Jesse. So for Jesse, I needed to get an Xbox controller because one of ours most, uh, recently broke. So I, bought, I got one of those. They still had a huge display of them. And uh, there wasn't that many people. It's like a regular Walmart trip amount of people. And then for June, I got her a My Life doll. <laughs> uh, I got this now so that I can make clothes for it uh, until she's a little bit older. Like probably two-ish or three-ish and can play with this without tearing it up. <laughs> um... So that, that way I can make a bunch of clothes and she'll have a ton of clothes for her. And then I thought maybe every now and then I'll just randomly buy accessories for her. <laughs> you know, like they got the little hairbrush kits and stuff. And then just maybe get a little tote box and start storing it all in there. But I got her a Burnett one because I'm pretty sure she's going to have brown hair like me and Jesse and Devin. Um, it's kind of hard to find one with long hair that wasn't put up. And I was afraid that it would stay, stay um, shaped weird, you know, from like being in a bun. So they had... Um, a ballerina one that had hair in a bun and then they had what was the other one they had another br brown haired one that i can't remember but none of them had brown hair and blue eyes all the brown haired ones either either had brown eyes or green eyes the only blue eyed ones were the blonde ones which is annoying because <laughs> i have blue eyes and she has blue eyes but oh well it doesn't have to be perfect but this one's name is harper <laughs> on the box uh this is the one i could find with long hair that wasn't put up and um regular clothes like i wanted just regular doll i didn't want like one of the weird unicorn ballerina ones <laughs> and uh but i got this one it was it, they're normally like 30 dollars, and it was on sale for 15 so i knew i wanted to grab one of those and when i first walked into the store 
the display where these are at were really picked over and I was like oh no but I went back to the toys in that whole section where they're at still had a ton of them so that's where I got her <laughs> was back there where the regular ones were I just got my Walmart app and scanned it and it rang up as 15 as well so I was like all right <laughs> and then I got to see that controller because it was on sale so there's June's little doll the 18 inch doll it's, it's like a copy of an American Girl doll. It's just a lot cheaper than an American Girl doll. And I wanted one of these so bad when I was a little girl and I never got one. Um, well, these weren't out back then, but you know, American Girl dolls. Uh, and I never could get one because they were so expensive. But now June will have one. <laughs> Maybe more than one. I want to get one of the boy ones too eventually so I can make boy clothes. But um, so now I've been <laughs> stalking Pamela's website and uh, other Ravelry shops and stuff looking for dog clothes that I can start hoarding up for June <laughs> and then like I said I'm gonna start buying accessory kits I wish this one had come with a hairbrush but it didn't so I'm gonna have to get most sooner because um that way every time I make an outfit I could try it on her and then take pictures and uh then put them in baggies probably nice and neat and put them in a box and just wait until June's old enough to play with them but she really liked it I let her see it and she was really interested in it so I think she's gonna like it a lot when she can play with it but I'm excited <laughs> So, that is her little doll. I think she's crying, but Daddy's in there, so that's why. And then I got some Christmas cards. <laughs> so, I want to show them. I actually have, I think, a few more in my post office box. Um, I seen them on the the email yesterday, but we went early in the morning yesterday to drop off some packages that I had. And they weren't in the box yet, so uh, I'll get them next time I go. So, this first one is from Julie, and she has a channel called Chaos Mom Crochets. And her card has a snowman on it. So I'll link her channel below. And this next one is from the card only. I mean, the thing only has the uh, last name, Judy. And she sent me a really cute one with uh, puppy dogs. That's so cute. They're so cute. I love dogs. <laughs> this one is from Gloria. It's got Santa Claus on it. And this one is from Teresa. Oh, that one was funny. When I opened this one in the post office, and I was laughing because it was a cat. <laughs> That's so cute. And then this one, is, the last one I got right now is from Kim. And it had a themed envelope. And it's Snoopy and Woodstock. Super duper cute. So... It had a Santa sticker on it. That one had a Santa sticker. That one has a Santa sticker, but it's like a different Santa sticker. It's like on a chimney. <laughs> I mean stamp. This has got one of those uh, snow day stamps. Is that what that book is called? <laughs> and this has got one of those cute little elf ones. Those are cute. I like the cute stamps better than like the classic look ones. But my post office never has the real cute ones. They always sell it real fast. But that's the ones I got, so I'm going to hang these on my wall. And I think I got you guys caught up on everything. <laughs> I, I meant to do a Whip Wednesday video, but we were just so busy today. We were cleaning, like, all day. Got a lot of stuff done that needed to be checked off of the to-do list. Um, So today I'm going to be cutting fabric for the drawstring bags that's coming out, hopefully, I'm hoping, next weekend. Probably, what's next Saturday? I think it's the 3rd. Yeah, because there's a craft for that day <laughs> that I want to go to. Um, I'm hoping maybe next Saturday. Maybe next Friday. But probably next Saturday or Sunday. <laughs> but Because um, I was hoping to work on more this Thanksgiving week. But we've been busy so far. But today's been a slow day. So we're gonna. Uh, I'm going to go in there and cut up a lot of that fabric. And try to get started sewing maybe tonight or tomorrow. To get those bags up. And that'll probably be the last big update. Uh, and then I might squeeze in another one or two smaller updates. And then um, that'll be it for 2022, which is crazy. I can't believe the year's, you know, going by this so fast. I can't wait till next Thursday because I can start my little advent swap. And next Friday I can start the challenge with Terry. So that's going to be fun. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. There's still, I think, a couple tote bags left in the shop if you want to go check them out. And then, like I said, next week there'll be some drawstring uh, sets. Some of them will be winter and Christmassy themed and some of them will just be random <laughs> regular prints uh, yeah and then vlogmas I think I'm gonna call it stitch miss this year though I don't know vlogmas is easier for me to remember to say <laughs> whatever I call it it starts next Thursday the first I'm pretty sure uh, 
think that's the first day. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna try to get a few more videos out this this year. Tuesday will be a give the last giveaway video, like the drawing of the names. Wednesday I'm gonna try to do a whip Wednesday, but it really depends on how busy I am. So that just leaves Sunday and Monday, because today is Saturday. I'm putting this out today, uh, and then Thursday starts a whole new month in the last month of the year, which is crazy. But yeah, June has a doctor appointment on the sixth of December, which is good because I gotta talk to her pediatrician about all this stuff because i can't remember how i got jesse off of formula and onto whole milk i can't remember if we cold turkey there or if we weaned him off <laughs> so i gotta ask her because that's coming up for june uh we'll be doing that in january for her which is good because we've been spending a lot of money on formula <laughs> it'd be nice to not do that <laughs> but um yeah so i'm gonna go edit this and get it up put all the stuff up that i pulled out and start cutting up some fabric so i'm gonna hop off here and i'll see you guys in another video i hope y'all had a nice holiday uh week thanksgiving and if you're not in america or don't celebrate thanksgiving uh and by celebrate i mean spend time with family like no one celebrates thanksgiving for what it was originally celebrated for <laughs> it's just a dinner now with family um but if you don't i hope you had a good week anyways a good thursday <laughs> but uh i'm gonna hop off here and i'll see you guys in the video bye guys